Hey everyone. I uh I've been gone for about a month from Montana. Had to go back to Illinois and uh for a funeral. So this has been sitting here waiting on me. Actually two of them. These are the tr what I assume it's listed as the ANA A8 printer. But I am assuming that it's probably going to be the Tron XY. Because when I was shopping around for the ANA A8, the places that seem to have advertised the A8 are actually shipping out the Tron XY. The one place where I tried to order the A8 from, uh, Gearbest, refused to sell it to me even after I had ordered it. And they had a number of them, over a hundred of them showing in inventory. And I went back and forth with them, and they said they couldn't sell it to me. Over the course of three or four days, the numbers kept dropping from over 100 to down to around 50. So, when it was all said and done, I canceled my order with them. And so then I went ahead and ordered from this printer instead. And I ordered two of them from two different sellers. So, tonight we're going to open it up and check it and make sure that everything... All the parts are here and that there's nothing damaged in the box. Now this one here count was $175, $174.95 plus free shipping. And this is my first incursion into 3D printing. So this will be the first one that I assemble. But I want to make sure that everything is here so that I can contact the seller if anything is not here or anything is not damaged. So this is, came with a spool of filament and an 8 gig micro SD card with it. So we will get to it. On the end, the white package here, I assume, is the spool of filament. And it is a spool of white filament. ABS. So they didn't ship PLA on this one, they shipped ABS. So I assume this has a heated bed. And this one here came from Mayon Store. And it was shipped from a U.S. warehouse, so it did actually arrive fairly quickly. It's just taken me a month to get to it because I was out of town. Okay, assembly is finished. There are a couple of steps that were not included in the instructions for assembly. One was uh, mounting the Z-axis end stop and uh, the X-axis end stop was also omitted. So those ones although they were pretty easy to figure out you should be aware that if you do get this model printer then uh, those instructions are not included next up we'll be testing the print 
are calibrating the printer. Okay, we are fully assembled. The print bed has been leveled and we're queuing up the first print. The SD card had several files on it. I'm going to start with the one that's called Box. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. Something to note though is that the files on the SD card are for PLA and the filament that they sent with the printer was ABS. So fortunately I had already ordered and received some PLA filament in advance. So we're going to print it in red PLA and see what happens. Okay, it took three attempts to get this thing started printing. The first attempt, the filament wasn't going through the extruder. So, I had to keep pushing it until it started through. Second attempt, the uh, hot end wasn't close enough to the bed. So I had to raise the bed up until it was closer. Third attempt now, it looks like things are going well. We're working on the fourth layer at this point, and it looks like everything is going down well, sticking to the bed. I sprayed a little bit of hairspray on it to uh, help with adhesion. So, we'll see what happens when it turns out. Don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll pick this up again when it's finished. Okay, we're at a two millimeter layer height. It hasn't started building the walls of the box at all yet. But the edges are starting to curl up on it. I may end up having to stop the print. It says that it's at 72% done. So I don't know, 25% of the print may be walls. doesn't look like much of a box. Well, the box print finished and uh, you see here we had lifting on the corners which caused some uh, distortion on the print itself. But overall it seems to have turned out pretty good for a first print. So now, what I'm doing is I'm going to start printing out the essential upgrades for the printer. First print I'm running is going to be the spindle centers for the uh, filament spool so that the filament comes off the spool a little bit smoother. At the moment, I've just added a zip tie up there to keep the filament in place for a smoother run until these are done. One of the things I will be printing is a uh, filament guide as well as uh, the uh, circular blower guide to evenly distribute the uh, air throughout around the uh, print area to get a better print. So that's it for today. This is supposed to take five hours to print so I'm just gonna let it keep going and I'm headed to bed. Good night everyone.